Today we live in a world of overconsumption. Everything is available at our fingertips and just a click away. Our lives are flooded with dopamine inducing experiences from buying drugs online to watching the best entertainment video in the comfort of our home. We have lost the real meaning, connection and differences between pain and pleasure. That is why Dopamine Nation clarifies the connection between pain and pleasure. It brings years of clinical experiences to help us understand addiction and how to achieve right balance in our lives. In this video, I'm going to share five findings from Dopamine Nation about addiction, the science behind pleasure and pain, and how to get out of addiction. By addiction, I don't only mean drug addiction, all the other addictions. So stay with me till the end of this video to learn how to bring the healthy balance in your life. First, let's understand what is addiction. Addiction is long-term use of an object or an action such as gambling, video games, or drugs. In this age of overconsumption, no one is safe from addiction. In the past, addiction was only limited to drug addiction and also to adults. But now it has extended to all corners of our lives across all age groups. People are addicted for playing games for hours, using social media for hours, even turning book pages continuously, being completely disconnected with the world outside. The only reason behind all this addiction is easy access to all of these resources. Today, 70% of the deaths are caused by addiction due to the factors such as smoking, obesity, and lack of exercises. When you look on poor people's life who have very less and limited access to all these resources, they have higher chances of longer living as compared to the people who are well off. Poor people have more chances and opportunities of escaping dopamine-inducing experiences. But at the end of the day, these pleasures that we are getting from these addictions are only leaving us with pain rather than more pleasure. With the question in mind, why are we all in more pain rather than pleasure? I learned that in 1800s, surgeons would operate and do their surgery on their patients without giving any general anesthesia because they were thinking that it would increase their immune response and it would speed up their healing process. But now we try to numb the tiniest source of pain in our life. Logically speaking, if we try to reduce the source of pain in our lives, it should increase the, the rate of happiness, but instead it is reducing the rate of happiness and giving us more pain and distress and anxiety. World Happiness report states that Americans were less happy in 2018 as compared to 2008. Belgium, Canada, Denmark, France, and Japan also saw the same decline in their countries. All these dopamine-inducing experiences have reduced our ability to live and face the tiniest source of discomfort. Wealthier countries are more stressed and more in anxiety as compared to less well-off countries. But we can get out of this situation by learning and increasing the awareness about the science behind pain and pleasure. And here is what I found from the book. Interestingly, the pain and the pleasure are controlled by the same part of our brain. Have you ever experienced that when you try something new for the first time, you feel a strong wave of dopamine? By dopamine, I mean pleasure in your body. But when you try the same thing, Again and again, after a few times, you feel less pleasure. That is because after each certain amount of pleasure, your brain tries to balance this out by moving your brain towards the pain zone. And the pain is expressed in you in the forms of craving for more pleasure. And that pleasure could be in the form of one more bite, one more episode, one more second of scrolling down on social media, or one more hit of the track. The more we expose ourselves to pleasure, the weaker the pleasure gets and the stronger the pain gets. That is why drug addicts try to increase their intake level as they progress through their addiction. But when our body craves for more pleasure, we should not give it right away. We should take some space and breath. So then our brain balances out without impacting the level of pleasure and pain. And we will enjoy the same activity after some time as we did it at the first time. We should understand that our brain was used to live in the world of scarcity, but now we are living in the world of 
abundance. And this abundance has created the desire of more and more. And that desire has left us more vulnerable to pain. Now let us discuss how to get out of addiction. One way to get out of addiction is to try dopamine fasting for four weeks. When you try to dopamine fast or abstain yourself from dopamine or pleasure giving activities, you give some time to your body to reset that reward system and you will appreciate tiniest source of pleasure and you will be more sensitive to pleasure as you were before. The other way to get us out of addiction is to expose ourselves to more painful activities. The more pleasure we get, the more sensitive we get towards pain. And the more pain we get, the more immune we get towards pain. In a study, it is found that the worms that are exposed to higher temperatures, they had more survival skills to survive in extreme temperatures as compared to the worms that were not. And it's also found that the Japanese citizens who were exposed to low dose of radiation in 1945 they showed a slight increase in their lifespan and drop in their cancer rates. Whether it's exercise or intermittent fasting or any other real physical pain, try to expose yourself to more pain often as you can. Another helpful way to get us out of the addiction is to seek support from the people around us. Try to tell the truth and be honest with other people with whatever addiction you are having. When we are honest and tell about addiction to other people, we are more conscious of our actions. We will be considering to change those actions more likely as we keep it to ourselves only. Don't feel afraid that when you share your weaknesses and flaws with other people around you, you may feel insecure around them. Instead, it is found that when you share your invulnerabilities with the people, you get more closer with those people. However, you must share your weaknesses with the people that you really can trust. Every one of us are continuously trying to live to the impossible standards of life. And taking breaks every now and then is totally fine and understandable. And on top of that, technology has made our escape from the problems of our lives towards pleasure and dopamine-inducing activities more accessible. But in the process of meeting the demand of life, we should not forget our ancestors' way of living. We should not escape from pain. We should face it. We should value pain more than pleasure. It may not give real reward in the short term, but it will be more sustainable way of living in the long term. As Mark Mansell also shares in his book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck, that life is full of problems and the art of living is the art of choosing the problem that we enjoy the most. If you're interested to know more about his book, you can watch his summary here. See you in the next video. Much love and bye.